Hello there, Tom here from The Run Testers with another first run review. In this video, me and Nick are going to be talking through the 361 Flame Carbon Plate running shoe. Let's take a look. The 361 Flame costs around £150 in the UK or $160 in the US. It weighs 233 grams or 8.2 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 8 millimeters. The 361 Flame is a lightweight carbon plate race shoe designed to produce a fast heel to toe transition, high energy return and more efficient running at speed. The upper is made from a lightweight mono mesh with reinforced sections for added structure. There's a modest level of padding around the ankle collar for comfort, a lean tongue design and a healthy level of outsole rubber to protect the midsole foam. So the fit for me in the Flames was true to size, definitely true to size, but what I would say is that uh, it's quite a narrow shoe. I did a half marathon in it the other day um, and by the end of the race, my little toe had rubbed against the side of the shoe quite a bit. So I'd go true to size, but I'd probably say wear thicker socks with it just to protect your feet against the rubbing of the upper fabric. Uh, so fit for me is good, true to size, like it may be a slightly longer the toe box, but in a way I like, like there's enough room there that means I'd have enough room for my toe over long runs at speed, a good lockdown fit around the heel and midfoot so far after that kind of first run around 16k. Uh, I did have to kind of fiddle the laces quite a lot to get a good kind of clamping fit around the midfoot, but felt fine on the run. Uh, so yeah, all good, I'd say true to size. <laughs> So I tested the 361 Flame out at the Lisbon Half Marathon over the weekend. There's a race video up uh, where you can see how that, that race went. So the first time I ever wore these was for that uh, 21 kilometer distance race. And what I would say is that uh, it's a shoe that myself and Nick have been looking forward to trying for a while because as you probably know, we like testing new carbon plate shoes and comparing them with other carbon plate shoes out um, at the moment. And this this shoe's been a bit elusive for us, so we've only just got around to testing it now. It's been out for a while. So I, I didn't do the Lisbon Half Marathon at my usual race place because I've recently been injured and I'm trying to be a bit careful when I do races um, just to make sure that I don't cause any more problems uh, as I'm currently in recovery. But I did the race at uh, probably a little bit faster than my base pace. So I ran that race. Uh, I got 145, um, but my PB is about 127. So you can see it's about 20 minutes difference in there. So I wasn't going all out on it. So, um, But I did pick up the pace in a few of those kilometers to sort of see how the shoe delivered um, when running at what would be my usual uh, faster pace. Um, so what I found was that it's a really interesting shoe and I actually really enjoyed wearing it. It's it, when you, Whenever you see one of these carbon plate shoes that doesn't have the sort of uh, momentum behind it as shoes like the Vaporfly or the Alfly or the Metaspeed Sky, it's all a bit of an unknown and you, you don't really know how it's going to fare. Sometimes we try carbon plate shoes out that a brand has made that just don't deliver really. Um, and the 361 Flame could have been that shoe because... We don't know a lot about it or didn't know a lot about it until now. Um, there's not been a lot of marketing, especially in the UK, about the shoe. Um, so, But what I found was that I was really impressed. I really enjoyed running in this shoe. I think it's um, a fantastic lightweight uh, race shoe, really. Uh, I would say that it doesn't feel like uh, the Vaporfly. Um, it's just a little bit harder, a little bit firmer doesn't have that same bounce that you get from the Vaporfly, but it's not miles off. So it's not like a completely different type of shoe, uh, like something like the, the Hocker Carbon X2, Hocker Carbon X3. Um, it feels like, uh, so more like the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2 for me. Um, and definitely, I think the shoe it feels the most like is the Nike Zoom Fly. It has the feel of those, um, some of those carbon plate shoes. You can definitely feel the carbon plate in it when you're running. It does feel like there's a little bit of flex in it. It does feel like it's pushing you forward. Uh, and it is a, a thoroughly enjoyable run. I think it, I think you can definitely run quite a bit faster in this. Um, and for me, I would say it delivers up there with some of the, the best carbon plate shoes available at the, at the moment. I think that's also down to preference as well because uh, I prefer uh, running it in the Vaporfly. I like the really soft, bouncy Zumex foam that's in there. I like the lightweight feel of it. I like having a little bit of um, cushioning in my carbon plate shoes. I also like the Alpha Fly, but I prefer the Vaporfly. 
I don't like the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. I, it's too firm for me and I, I just don't get anything from that foam and that carbon plate. It's just a very subtle um, uh, plate in there that doesn't really give me anything that I like from a run. But what I found about the uh, 361 Flame is that it has elements of all of those things. It feels to me like a Zoomfly, uh, Nike Zoomfly, but with a little bit more lightweight feel to it. So it feels better than the Zoomfly for racing. And I think that she's very good for tempo training. And a few years ago, I'd probably say it was one of the better fast trainers out there, but now the competitors in the carbon plate market are just far better than, than that shoe. Um, so this shoe, I think is just, a, it was a very enjoyable run. I felt like I could run a lot further in it. Definitely felt comfortable to wear. Um, it felt like it was propelling me forward. So yeah, I think overall it's a very solid, good option if you're looking for a carbon plate shoe and don't really want to spend the sorts of you know 220 pounds and above um, for some of the leading carbon plate shoes. This sits around the 160 pound mark, I think. I just need to check that, uh, but I'll pop it up on screen if it's slightly different, uh, which I think is a good price for this. I'd probably say maybe 140 would be a, a better price for it there are other shoes out there which have carbon plates which probably are in the same area of the shoe i'd say something like the hocker rocket x is another good example um but for me i think this is better than that shoe for um what the carbon plate delivers the rocket x is a little bit less noticeable for me when it comes to the carbon plate so overall that half marathon first run test i found it to be um, a very good shoe very pleased with it so far delivers a lot better than I thought it might deliver, but based on the fact that I didn't know anything about it. Um, and yeah, really uh, enjoyed that half marathon that I did. So about to head off to do my first run in the 361 Flame. Uh, I've got a tough workout lined up this morning. Gonna be doing two sets of 3K in 10 minutes plus five 30 second hill reps. Should be a good tough test of the shoe. Uh, see how it holds up to kind of, you know, hard sessions that you might do in the week like this. All right then, let's go run. So I am back home again, uh, about 15 and a half K total, including the workout, which was very hard, but good. Yeah, first I've done that workout a few times this year. It's the first time I've really nailed it. Um, ran, I think something like 948 and 955 for the three Ks. The hill reps in the middle obviously just really accelerate fatigue. So the second three K just feels brutal by the end. But yeah, all good, all good today. And I'm gonna say the shoe felt really good. I was, um, I think surprised. I think, to be honest, this is the word, like I thought it'd be okay, but it felt very impressive on the foot. It's um, got a lightning quick transition, but it's not aggressive. It's not so snappy that it starts to, you know, hit you, create a bit of foot fatigue. Uh, well, not in that run today, obviously, with only 15 and a half K, but, um, but you know, with the, with some long stints at hard paces, I did wonder if it would get a bit uncomfortable, but no, it, no it's got a really fast and a smooth transition to it. Um, a bit of cushioning, but it just feels quick generally. It feels lighter than it is. Um, and it does the classic kind of carbon shoe thing, whereas at the end of that second 3K, just clinging on kind of for dear life. Um, I, it's one of those ones you're running and you look down and the pace is just better than you expect and the shoe's just kind of helping you hold on to the kind of 320K pace for the rep. Um, so yeah, all in all, I was really impressed. I think you've got almost got to ease into it, like with the shoe, like if you're, it's, it is quite a um, an intrusive ride in a sense, like it is trying to make you almost run in a certain way. And I think if you relax into that and just start ticking over, it really works well. And um, I was very impressed also on a very mild downhill. It was really felt good and fast in the shoe, like it was tipping you forward a bit. So all in all, 361 Flame, yeah, was, was great today. Like um, I look forward to doing some more running in it. I want to get a nice long, hard run in it to see if it does get, you know, a little bit firm after a while, but I don't think it will. That foam isn't like soft and cushy and springy like some super shoes, but, it's got enough cushioning protection there. It, it is reminiscent of kind of the feel of the Endorphin uh, Pro and Speed foam, the Power Run PB, um, but the ride is less kind of rolly and smooth, like, you know, the Speed Roll Tech in those shoes. It's more kind of snappy, but it is a good amount of cushioning without feeling overly squishy and soft. So all in all, a very, very good first impression. Only no neg only negative, there's a negative here. It's loud. It's definitely a loud shoe for me. Um, yeah, quite slappy and loud, but today that was good because I was running around like suburban streets very fast and. Um, people hearing me coming is, is actually a bit of an advantage. So yeah, very strong first impression of the 361 Flame. Um, it's a shoe I look forward to doing a lot more running in. It, uh, it's a very interesting and compelling shoe for me given the relatively low price 
$160, kind of 180 euros, put it up against really the things like the Saucony Endorphin Speed, Hoka Rocket X, you know, cheaper plated shoes that have always been, you know, that offer good value for training whilst also being pretty good racers. And so far, it feels like it's going to hold its own against those shoes. And obviously, the Endorphin Speed is my favourite shoe. It's just the best shoe, really, I think. So if it can hold its own against that, then that really is a very good and encouraging thing. Um, it's obviously not got quite the same ride. It's a bit kind of snappier, kind of traditional style to it, as opposed to the smooth roll of the Endorphin Speed. And actually, the Hoka Rocket X as well has got a bit of a rocker going on. So yeah, actually, it might pair very nicely with another carbon plate racer in a very expensive rotation. Um, or it does look like it could be a very solid uh, kind of trainer racer for your speed work, intervals and races. But uh, I would say on the easier end of things and the kind of steadier and tempo runs, um, it's not quite as comfortable for me, I'd say, and natural on the foot as the endorphin speed. Uh, like the 361 flying today felt a lot better once you started moving at pace. It didn't feel bad at easy paces, but yeah, it's not a shoe that... It's not, it's not unstable because it's not crazy soft or anything, but yeah, it doesn't have the most natural ride when you're moving slowly, which is fair enough. It's, you know, it's built for speed. And when you do start running at pace, it's got a very, very nice ride to it. But a snap with a snappy, but you know, kind of comfortable um, transition that I think should work pretty well for hard sessions and races. So yeah, excited to get out of it again for some more training, maybe try and get a race in. I know Tom's going to race in it. So yeah, we'll keep coming back at you with more thoughts about the 361 Flame once we've uh, had a chance to do some more fast running in it. So my verdict on the 361 Flame after a first run uh, is that it's a very um, interesting and exciting shoe. I think there's a lot of promise in this shoe. I'm definitely looking forward to testing it out on uh, more races. Uh, at half marathon distance, I think it delivers really well. I think it's a shoe that's more designed for, well, it's just designed for all distances, really. I'd definitely like to give it a go at 5K distance. I think it'd be brilliant for 5K and 10K. Um, but also, equally, I think it'd be fine for a marathon as well. The midsole is comfortable. It's not too um, too firm over marathon distance. So I think there's enough cushioning in that to cover you for that distance. And overall, it's just a solid, good carbon plate shoe, which um, I have high hopes for over the coming weeks as I test out uh, in a couple more races that I've got coming up. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got from the latest road and trail shoes to the latest watches and running headphones out at the moment. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.